Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do a special video about the solstice energies that are happening this week. Um, I want to welcome all of you guys to my channel and welcome back for those of you that are repeat viewers. I appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you that are sending in donations, I appreciate you so, so, so very much. Um, it means the world to me that my work has been supporting you. So what we're going to do is I'm doing this video um, specific to the themes around the solstice. But even if you're watching this video at a time that's not the solstice um, and the messages are resonating, this is Spirit's way of bringing you the messages as they're intended to get to you. But um, so what we're going to take a look at today is we're going to take a look at the collective divine masculine and divine feminine energies. We're going to take a look at the energies that are amplified around a solstice. So these are around the themes of completions of cycles, what's beginning, what's transforming, all of that. So we're going to take a look at how that's happening in the masculine and the feminine collective. And um, with that, I did just post a video earlier today, which was all about some kind of high level overview of the work and my purpose with this channel and who I'm serving and who I'm and and how to really benefit the most from the videos that I'm sharing so if you haven't seen that do go check it out it's a short video and also I do want to say as you're watching these videos I want to I want to just emphasize that we all obviously have divine masculine, we all have masculine and femi feminine energies within us. And part of us coming into higher dimensional consciousness, fifth dimensional consciousness, is being able to be balanced in our both our masculine and our feminine energies. So for example, I'm primarily a divine feminine. Um, I am, my primary energy is feminine. However, there are times where I need to be in my masculine energy. There are times when the masculine energy in me is either triggered or um, there's an opportunity for me to show up in either divine masculine or sacred masculine energy or distorted masculine energy. So part of how to use these videos as well is to look at not only like, so I'm divine feminine, so not only look at this side, but also look to see how the messages for the divine masculine might be applying to my life as well. Um, because there's a reason why in the collective readings, in the past it used to be, interesting, there's expect powerful change at the bottom of the deck. In the past, when I first started this channel, the discrepancy between masculine and feminine energies was, was much bigger. It was much more separate. They were in two separate camps. And over the last, I'd say, five, six months, those energies have really started to come together, which to me is indication of how the collective is really coming into wholeness of who they are. They're balanced in their masculine and feminine energies. They're able to recognize both aspects within themselves. So um, it's no coincidence that sometimes you can watch a video and it may flip flop like, oh, this feels more like me today, or this feels more like me. It's because the energies are so much closer and they're aligned now before they used to be very very separate and it was very easy to distinguish between the two but now it's a lot harder which is a really good thing because that just means we're all coming into an energy of integration so let's get started so i'm going to pull an overall theme for the solstice here for the collective divine masculine and the collective divine feminines and then we'll get into the messages so we'll start off with the divine masculine what is the theme for the divine masculine collective with this solstice and we're getting prosperity lies ahead well here we go the new moon in taurus so this is really about gaining solid footing this is about um you know very consistent with messages that have been coming through where it's like you're starting to reap the benefits of your hard work. You're starting to see physical evidence of the work that you've put into yourself, potentially your work, your career, your home, your family, whatever that is. Um, you're starting to see the evidence of things that you've been working on that potentially may have 
felt like they were just around the corner, but they hadn't shown up yet. And now they're beginning to show up. So that is beautiful. And one of the themes of a solstice, especially the summer solstice, because in the Northern hemisphere, we've got summer solstice happening and the Southern hemisphere, they've got the winter solstice. So we've got the longest day of the year here in the Northern hemisphere and the South, um, the Southern hemisphere has the shortest. So um, regardless of which hemisphere you're living in, the solstice energy is still overall represent endings, completions, and new beginnings. It's just where's the emphasis. The summer solstice is more about coming out, coming out what you're showing the world in the bright sunshine. And in the southern hemisphere, the winter solstice going on right now is more about where is that light within you going inward, being very reflective of what is going on in your inner world. So um, just wanted to make that distinction because I know I obviously have people from all over the globe watching this and I didn't want you guys in the south to, to think I had forgotten about you because I definitely have not. So let's see what is going on in for the theme of the solstice for the Divine Feminine Collective and we're getting you're very close to achieving your goal. So here we are, right? The gibbous moon. So both the masculine and the feminine are coming into the solstice with this energy of culmination of hard work being put in your goal the goal the word goal implies work something you've been intending not just something that is happenstance so whatever your goal is right now divine feminine um, you're being reminded that you are very close to the achievement of this goal so very similar energies coming through for the divine masculine and the divine feminine and no wonder I just went into that spiel about how the energies can be overlapping. And here we are real time getting this example. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a card here for where the Divine Masculine is right now. Because this is about um, being at that full energy. The full energy is the zero card in the, in the Major Arcana, well in the Tarot, which is being on that precipice. You're complete, but you haven't quite started. You know, it's that fulcrum point of something's ended, but I haven't quite begun the new thing and you're at that precipice. So that's the energy of solstice, um, whether it's winter or summer solstice, wherever you are. But so let's get an energy for where the divine masculine is right now. And here is the eight of cups. So he's definitely in the place of really going into where he is going. He wants his emotional fulfillment. You know, he's been in this journey of connecting with his emotional body and he's been very much um, in this energy of, oh, look at that. And the 10 of cups showing at the bottom of the deck. Like I was just saying, the eight of cups is somebody who's leaving the eight to move on to the 10. They don't want just pretty good. They want amazing. They want total emotional fulfillment. They want happiness. Um, they want the 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is not bad, but they're moving on here towards this 10 of cups energy. And this to me is an indication of what this prosperity lying ahead. Certainly it could be financial prosperity, it could be money, it could be career, it could be stability, all of that. Being a Taurus, that's very much the physicality. But to me, physicality is also, you know, Taurus is a very, um, a sign that's about the physical pleasures. Um, so certainly this could be about landing a relationship in the physical plane, meaning in the earthly plane versus being in the higher dimensions, like the, the connectivity of souls versus bringing it into physical reality. So there's definitely something coming in here for the divine masculine. So let's see what the overall, where the divine feminine is right now. And guys, I, so what we're going to look at is looking at what's completed we're going to look at what's transforming for each of them in this video and then i am going to be doing an extended and in that for those of you that are interested in going more in depth we're going to take a look at you know what they're reflecting on what area of their life is about to start to grow and flourish what their wishes and desire what wishes and desires are really calling to each of the masculine and the feminine and what are they getting excited about what aspect of them they're revealing about themselves to the outer world and we're going to get into guidance as well as take a look at the energies of the dynamic between the two if you guys are watching this video relating to love so that's all going to be in the extended but 
we got a lot more to go here in this version. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine, I'm going to take the two that jumped out. So we're getting the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Gosh, this has been coming up so much for her. So she's all in her head right now. Um, she's been all in her head. But for me, this is it's it's coming out loud and clear that she she's making decisions about not letting past heartbreak and sadness hold her back. Um, but she is potentially a little bit in stuck in that energy at the moment. So, which is good because this is really what's been coming up lately. It'll be interesting to see how it looks, it, it, how it shifts into what is transforming and completing for her. But she's definitely a lot in her head at the moment. So let's keep going here. Let's see, um, what challenges have, what challenge has the divine masculine just like has finally overcome? What is the challenge that he has finally overcome? Because that's one of the themes of a solstice as well is you've been fighting a battle for a while. You've had some challenges and what's finally being put to bed. So, oh, hello. Well, I'm just going to take the top because there's like 10 cards. I don't even know what's underneath. And we're getting the five of swords. So what he's, what he's, what he's leaving behind. I love this. This is complete. This is confusion. This is battling. This is not knowing, um, you know, the five of swords is about fighting and conflict, mental conflict. And just, it's ironic also how just as the masculine is leaving behind mental conflict, the feminine is kind of feeling a little bit of that on her end of the, on her end of the spectrum, but he's leaving behind the five of swords energy. Uh, which to me is gorgeous. That's the challenge he's overcome. He's been fighting battles. He's been fighting for his beliefs. He's been fighting for his values. He's been trying to figure them out. He may be changing some of them. The five is a, is a, is an energy that's challenging because it's about change and not everybody, it's never, not always pretty. Most of the time change is not, but what comes on the other side of it is beautiful. So I love that he's leaving behind that energy. So let's see what has been, uh, what challenge has a divine feminine, what is she finally completing for her challenge? Okay, that's three. That's too many, guys. Just one, please. Thank you. And the three of pentacles. So it feels like what's completing for her is this energy of, I find this interesting because I was drawn to using this deck and the three of pentacles is an energy about teamwork and working together. But in this case, he's here by himself. Yeah, there's a cat there, but he's not with other people in the traditional tarot. There's three other people in the card and here he is solo. So really what this is telling me very clearly is that she's leaving behind feeling like she's not going to be that, that she's going to have to go at this alone. Again, ironic, right? I could have used a different deck and the car card would have had different meanings, but it's not ironic. It's absolutely perfect. That's how this all works. So what she's leaving behind, what's complete is the trying to figure it all out on her own is what they're saying. That's the challenge that's been overcome. So let's see what's finally complete for the divine masculine. What is finally completing for him, please, is the king of swords. Making decisions, being that leader, being very clear. He's done making his decisions. He's made, he, he's being very decisive. Um, there is a strength and a knowing that's coming through very clearly for divine masculine energy is where it's like, I, I no longer wonder about what's mine or what I want or what I'm going to go for. He has a lot of clarity, a lot of clarity. And it's like, he's, it feels like if he's been hemming and hawing about any decisions in his life, whatever they may be about that, the decisions are done. So he could have already started to act and execute on those decisions in the way that this posi this card is coming in in this position. So let's see what is um, 
finally complete for the Divine Feminine. Okay, that's like four cards. Let me do this again. Just one, please. Okay, thank you. There it is. There she is again. Solopreneur. She's been on her own. She's been fighting these battles on her own. And she's kind of built this fortress around her. But what I love about this depiction of the Nine of Wands is because it, it's in this deck, the wands are flowering. They're flowering. There's, there's budding. There's fertility. There's, there's blossoming happening. And it's like all of the work that she's done to put all these wands here, to stand her ground, to not give up, are all of a sudden showing the flowers. So that's what's complete. What's complete is her being on her own because the nine is an energy of solitude as well. But what's complete is feeling like, again, this is such a gorgeous message for the divine feminines. She's, she's, she's completed being almost at the finish line. Because the nine of wands can be, you're just at, like the 90, 95 yards down the field. You've only got five more yards to go to, to get a touchdown, right? Well, this is what she's, this is complete, is no longer, no longer needing to be in that perseverance energy because the completion of that is here. What a gorgeous message. Okay, so let's see what's going, um, what is transforming on the um, inner world for the divine masculine. I didn't take that card because I hadn't decided whether I was doing inner or outer transformation first. But we're going to start with inner transformation. And here's that nine of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, this is about being abundant. The nine of pentacles is somebody who has everything together, they've got a good life, they've got everything in order, they're making money, they are happy, but they are alone. They are on their own. Because again, like I was just saying, they're both getting nines here, which is the end of the single era of no longer needing to be on your own. The one last thing left is that final pentacle. So in his inner world, He's also seeing his divine feminine as being this way. He sees her as solid, stable, abundant, powerful. But it's like, it, I'm just hearing he's ready, he's ready, he's ready. He's ready to move on from, you know, being fine on his own to now really wanting that last pentacle to make the Ten of Pentacles, which is all about completion, fru coming into fruition, all about things being all in alignment in the physical plane. Happy, the happy family card, the happy family in the physical plane card. It's like everything. So we've already seen the Ten of Cups come in. So let's get a sense for what is going on in the inner world for the Divine Feminine. And she's getting the page of cups. So she's ready to go to the next level. She's ready for that, um, that offer. She's also ready to move the relationship to the next level. She's definitely feeling a lot of emotion here. But I'm getting drawn to the fact that It's like her inner child, her inner child is um, exuberant is what they're saying. Let's see what's going on in the outer, like how is the divine masculine showing up in the outer world? What's his outer transformation? How is he showing his transformation in the outer world? Okay, that didn't flip, so let's, how is he showing his transformation externally? And there's the Knight of Swords. Here he is coming for her with his truth. Like I said, he's made his decisions and now he's going to go get go get her. He's going to go for it. He's going to go for whatever it is in his life is his next thing. This is going forward. Um, things happening very quickly. And like I've always said, especially when it comes to sacred union, if you're looking at this specific to love, it's like 
when the divine masculine finally makes his decision, it's going to happen quickly. Or at least he'll take action aligned with that. Could be out of the blue. So there could be some things coming out of the blue with the solstice energy for you guys. So just saying here. Okay, let's see what is going on in the outer world. What's How is the divine feminine showing her transformation at the solstice in her outer world? How is she showing this? And here's the three of cups. Celebrating. She's celebrating. She certainly could be spending some more time out and about. Going out, having some fun, socializing. But to me, it feels like the Divine Feminine, when she's celebrating whatever is has been transformed, you're going to know it. It's going to be obvious, right? So that's gorgeous. Here he is approaching her. And again, this is called real-time energy shift. The feminines watching this could see this and now all of a sudden be celebrating in their hearts, like doing the happy dance because they're seeing the energies coming in. So that often happens in my, in my readings where real time there's going to be, there's like a dialogue that happens back and forth um, or like a response where the energy shifts based on energies coming through. So let's get a sense. So um, for those of you that this feels like this is resonating for you in terms of where you're at. Um, I am going to be going to do uh, the extended version. The link is going to be down below. I already explained what I'd be talking about, but it's really going to be about some more of the themes around these solstices, meaning like what are they reflecting on? What aspect of their lives are about to start to grow and flourish? What wishes and desires are beginning to speak to both the masculine and the feminine? What are they getting fired up about and excited about? And what aspect of them are they ready to really reveal to the world? Because that is another aspect of solstice energy. So... Um, if that sounds interesting, the link is down below, but I'm going to finish up here with some guidance. What is your key to this transformation? What is the best guidance for those of you that this is resonating for? What is their guidance for you? What's your key to navigating this transformation in the best way? Okay. Am I going to have to pull one or there we go. And there we go for the divine masculine being balanced, the six of pentacles. This is about making sure that you're giving and receiving equally. This is a time to give. This is a time to participate in whatever you're going to be doing in that you have, you have the balance. Now you have something to offer to the world as well as to your divine feminine. So, um, the guidance here is to remember that this is about equal partnership having enough to give. You have the resources now to be able to give things out. And there are people that can, there are people that will be helped by you, by your example, divine masculine. All right. And let's see here. What is for the feminine? Here we go. The three of wands just had to jump out before I could even finish the sentence. So the guidance for the divine feminine, the advice is to keep your vision. The guidance is it's coming this, this, um, what you've been waiting for is on its way. And look, it's the wands. And of course the wands in this deck showing the flowers, showing the bounty, showing the fertility, showing the blossoming. So it's on its way. Divine feminine, what you have been waiting for is coming. So they want you to remember that during this time. And what I really love about this depiction of it is he's standing on this cliff. He's standing on the edge. He could literally just step right off and jump into the ocean. So he's right there. He's not kind of from a distance looking out. He's it's imminent here. This whatever's arriving is coming in right now. It's not like, oh, let me peek out into the ocean and see if there's some sign of it. It's like, oh, gosh, they're here. Let's greet. Let's greet it. Let's greet whatever it is that's coming. So, all right, lovely friends. What an amazing um, reading and the energy is coming through. Again, very consistent with what's been coming in. But 
I um, want to send you guys so much love. And until next time, bye.